Hello, you are welcome. To solve for x in this nice exponential equation, let's divide through by 16 raised to the power x, and we have 16 raised to the power x over 16 raised to the power x, then plus 44 raised to the power x over 16 raised to the power x, that equals to 121 raised to the power x over 16 raised to the power x. Then from what we have here, when we have a over b, then raised to power n, raised to power n, the same thing as a over b or raised to power n a. So applying this here, what we have here, we cancel out and we are left with 1. So here we have 1 plus 44 over 16 all raised to power x now equals to we have 121 over 16 all raised to power x and from here we can rewrite this as 1 plus into bracket 4 times 11 as 44 then over 4 times 4 as 16 then all raised to power x now equals to here 121 can be written as 11 squared then over 16 we have 4 squared then all raised to power x then from here as well here 4 we cancel each other we are left with 11 over 4 here so we have 1 plus 11 over 4 or is to power hex now equals to here also applying the law of indices we can write this as 11 over 4 or square then which is raised to power hex if you are enjoying this class click the like button and subscribe to my channel thank you now from here when we have a raised to power hem raised to power n this same thing as a raised to power m n which is also same as a raised to power n raised to power n m on the law of indices which implies that we can interchange this power and here we have 1 plus 11 over 4 or raised to power hex now equals to 11 over 4 or raised to power x then raised to power 2 then here we have 11 over 4 raised to power x comma so let a letter let u be equals to 11 over 4 raised to power x then what you have here become 1 plus u equals to u squared then we can take everything to one side let's take everything on this side to that side so we have u square minus u minus one now equals to zero from here then we can solve this quadratic equation from quadratic formula and we have u now equals to minus minus one plus or minus square root of minus one squared minus four times 1 times minus 1 then over 2 times 1 which implies here we have u equals to here become plus 1 then plus or minus square root of minus 1 square is 1 the minus times minus as plus as plus 4 over 2 and here we have u to be equals to 1 plus or minus root 5 over 2 and here we have two possible values of u the first we have u equals to 1 plus root 5 over 2 and also we have u equals to 1 minus root 5 over 2 then here let's recall that we represented u as 11 over 4 or is to power x 
then it implies on this side we have 11 over 4 or is to power x equals to 1 plus root 5 over 2 and also on this side we have 11 over 4 or is to power x equals to 1 minus root 5 over 2 so what we have here will be positive that is greater than 0 also this is greater than 0 positive number so we have a resolution here then what we have here this is positive and this is negative so this side there won't be a resolution so no resolution here so this side we reject this side then from what we have here when we take the log on both sides we have log 11 over 4 raised to power x equals to log 1 plus root 5 over 2 then here we apply the power law of logarithm when we have log m raised to power p is the same thing as p log m so here x comes here we have x log 11 over 4 from here now equals to log into bracket 1 plus root 5 over 2 then from what we have here we can divide both sides by log 11 over 4 so we have divide by log 11 over 4 and also here divide by log 11 over 4 then from here this cancel each other we have x now equals to log into bracket 1 plus root 5 over 2 then over log 11 over 4 from here then and from here we can apply the change of base when we have log a over log b the same thing as log a to base b and from here we have x now equals to log into bracket 1 plus root 5 over 2 then base 11 over 4 so here we have the value of x in this given problem and thank you for watching don't forget this step subscribe for more exciting videos turn on the notification bell share this video and give it a thumbs up see you next class and bye for now